Hi there, everybody. My name is Lloyd H. Miller. This is ukulele lesson number three. Now, if you watched ukulele lesson one and two, you might have been saying, hey, you know what? I've never played a ukulele before, and my ukulele doesn't sound like yours. Mine sounds like this. That's because it's out of tune. I didn't do tuning in the first lesson because well, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's so, so important. So, lesson three, here we go. How to tune the ukulele. If you remember from lesson one, the string closest to your head is supposed to be a G. Let's see with my little clip-on tuner, I'm gonna turn it on, if it is a G. It looks like it is, now wait. See what it says there? It's a little bit red. When it's a little bit red, when it's a little bit going that way, that means that you need to tighten it up a little bit. That means it's a little bit flat. And we'll talk later about what sharp and flat means, musical words, if you've never met those words before. There we go, all perfectly green. Now the next string, if you remember, is supposed to be a C. Now what do we have? We have a B. Now remember that the musical alphabet is the same as the other alphabet, except it stops at G. So if we're on B and we want to get to C, we're just going to tighten it up a little bit. There's a C right there on green. Good. Now, our next note is an E, or supposed to be an E. What do we have? We have an F sharp. Hmm. Does F come before or after E in the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F. It comes after. So we're going to loosen this string a little bit. Until we get, oh, I made it red, I made it a little flat. I want it green. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh man, sometimes this takes forever. And I wanted to show you the real deal so I'm actually doing it. I'm not like faking tuning, I'm actually tuning. There's a nice green E, a little bit of red. Uh. Now, the last string, the string closest to your feet, is supposed to be an A. And it is an A, but it's got a little bit of red in there, do you see? So, I'm going to tighten it up. And now we've got a perfectly tuned ukulele, I think. Remember what those strings are called? G, C, E, A.